Well, they're cracking down on cell phone use in the classrooms at Roosevelt High School here in Des Moines because, as our Steve Carlin shows us now, some students would much rather text, talk, or watch pay TV than pay attention. They look so innocent passing from class to class. I've seen Netflix. Um, when the World Cup was on, people were watching the World Cup. But the kids here at Des Moines Roosevelt. When their phone vibrates in their pocket, they want to check it. Like the kids at every other high school across the country. It's always their parent. Are pretty darn crafty. No, it's never their parent. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because of the students' incredible ingenuity that this year, Roosevelt has installed a simple new cell phone policy. Essentially, we don't want students to have their cell phone out and on, meaning visible to others and on during instructional time. But kids can be on their phones during pastime, before and after school, at lunch, right, let's get us excited, right? and in class when a teacher wants to use smartphones as an instructional tool. There are no stated penalties, and repeat offenders could have their phone taken away for the day. And parents could be called if problems persist. Really what's most shocking to me is how irate and angry they get when I ask them to put it away. The policy is not meant as punishment. It's designed to do away with one very tempting classroom distraction. So far so good. The kids have been amazing. A huge handheld battery powered distraction that could prevent any of these kids from reaching their full potential. I believe that our parents when they send their kids to our school they want their kids learning. Steve Carlin, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. If Roosevelt parents really do need to get in touch with students, they can do it the old-fashioned way. Call the office, and they'll go and get your child out of class.